I did very much so love my dress. Felt like a bride. <laughs> Was it worth the expense? I don't know. Like many brides, Alexis Monteo saw a big price tag for her big day. She took out a loan to finance the $20,000 affair. We did save a little bit, yes, mm -hmm. but it wasn't as much as we should have. The cost of a wedding has climbed to an all-time high. The national average is just north of $35,000, and wedding loans are becoming an appealing option. I think part of the reason they're becoming popular is uh, the lending opportunity is so easy for people. They're able to apply online. Prosper is just one company that offers wedding loans between three and five years. Interest rates range from five to more than 35 percent, depending on the individual. The best way to pay for a wedding is to use what you have in your savings account already. Stephanie O'Connell helps millennials manage their finances. Are millennials trying to one up another when it comes to weddings? <laughs> it doesn't help to be coming of age in the Instagram social media generation. O'Connell advises couples to extend their engagement before overextending their budget and says if you opt for a wedding loan, don't take on interest higher than 7% and have a payment plan. Going into debt to start your married life can be a really painful trade-off in the long run. That's exactly what the Monteos are learning. Are you happy you took out a wedding loan? No. Why not? Because we're in debt. <laughs> the loan helped make one day special, but it will take years to pay off. Meg Oliver, CBS News, Severn, Maryland.